We are here to discuss the suspicious and unsolved death of Grant Solomon. So that day, he and his father Aaron took separate cars to a baseball training facility and they arrived just before 9 a.m. And after parking, Grant proceeded to exit his truck. And he claims he looked away briefly to check a work email. And then he noticed that Grant's truck had rolled backwards down the hill into a ditch. He noticed that his son was now trapped underneath it. After speaking to the person that runs the facility, it became clear that neither Aaron or Grant had an appointment that day. One of Grant's baseball bats was missing from the truck. He always had several in his truck. But the biggest thing here, in my opinion, is that the wounds on his body don't even indicate that he was dragged 60 feet through concrete into a rocky ditch. The tire marks from the truck also suggest that the car didn't roll backwards into the ditch, but rather drove into it from the roadside. They ignored crucial evidence that could possibly prove that this was a crime scene and not the scene of a tragic incident. 